There are about 200 aquifers in New Zealand. Two aquifers in Hawke's Bay are the lifeblood of a region reliant on primary production. Aquifers feed lakes and rivers. They receive water from rainfall and river connections, channels and drains. Areas of saturated rock or sediment store water in pores and cracks in sands, gravels and rocks below our feet. An invisible taonga, but essential for our environment, our productive communities, towns, cities and industry. Water travels and filters through underground layers, moving with gravity to surface waterways and finally the ocean. Some aquifers are confined between impermeable layers of sediment or rock and groundwater can be under pressure, sometimes so much pressure that it will flow above ground level in a bore without pumping. The main users of groundwater in Hawke's Bay pump water from below ground to supply town water, industrial uses and irrigation. Much smaller volumes of groundwater are also used for frost protection, private household supplies and water for stock. Too much groundwater pumping can remove essential water from rivers and streams, so less space for fish, river life, recreation, even lower groundwater levels. The size of an aquifer is less important than how it is managed. The key is to protect groundwater levels and connected surface layers of streams and rivers from overuse. Aquifer water is also vulnerable to contamination by disease-causing microorganisms, as well as from excess nutrients, pesticides and other contaminants. Hawke's Bay Regional Council relies on specific rules, limits, landowner groups, sector support and catchment-based expertise to manage water quality and quantity now and for the future.